Hello there YouTube, I am back with this, it's the second leg of the League Cup. It's exciting stuff, it's exciting stuff. It's always the thing with the first leg of the uh, League Cup that just, there's no real excitement in it. I didn't feel any excitement, I was just bored as fuck towards the end of the last match. But this is a second leg and a win for Liverpool or a draw for Liverpool will take us through to the League Cup final for a chance to take on Cardiff. Um, you would think that you know whoever wins this match has a real chance of, of winning the final and not taking any credit away from Cardiff because the way that they played last night was just brilliant. Um, but you know we're here for Liverpool. Well, it should be anyway. Um, I actually I was stood outside the betting shop earlier. Well, it wasn't the betting shop. I was at the um, at the bun shop. Get myself a cheese sarni. And uh, betting shop's next to it, and I thought, you know, if I was going to put a bet on it, I would put a bet on Man City winning 2 0 or 3 0. Um, our home form hasn't been great, to be honest. But, you know, <coughs> I have no idea, I have no idea how this is going to go. All I know is it's going to be exciting with only one goal in it. You know, obviously we've got the advantage, but it's just about to kick off now. I think it's going to be really, really close. Or City are going to run away with it. I don't know. You know, these opening ten minutes will mean a lot. You know, if we can just settle down and, and pass the ball around like we didn't in the last match, um, we should. Fingers crossed. Be okay. So without a doubt, without a doubt, without a, 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 any ado, we are going to get back to the game now. Yeah. Back and organized. Dingy. Enrique. He's jumped down, he's got a bit of space in the soft side. Puts in a good ball. Oh, he fucked it up! Oh, you twat! You fucking twat! I don't believe that shit! Fuck me! How could you miss that? I think a blindfolded fish could have scored that. Fuck's sake. <coughs> Go on, Bellamy! Go on, fella! Quit inside, quit inside. No, you twat, what are you doing? Good cheese. Collar off on the left hand side. Nasri. David Silva, undoubtedly one of the best players in the Premier League. Sami Nasri, he's going to go for a shot, he goes for a shot, he's fucking miles away. Fucking miles away, shit bastard. Great ball across there to Skirtle, now it's Jose Enrique. Skirtle again, on this left hand touch line. Charlie Adam. Oh, he shoots! Joe it was literally straight at him anyway. If it was anywhere else, it might have tested him a bit more. But Charlie Adam smacking that with his left, like you know we can. Dirk Cow following up. But Joe Hart. Joe Hart dealing with that nicely. But what a ball this from David Silva. Wonderful ball. Just cut straight across the box. Connor off. Great ball in. Nobody's there. You know, I would think that Aguero would have been there. Zeko, where the fucking are you, you stupid bastard? We've got a free kick, I don't know what for. We've got San Rique. Shoots. I don't know why. Drop for Dirk Cow. Greg Bellamy! Fucking hell. That was one of the worst shots I've ever seen him take. He's come through for Glenn Johnson. Savage clearing as far as Dirk. Steve J. Glenn Johnson right touching this like right hand touch line here. Good ball. And Craig Bellamy's through. Oh, Joe Hart's fucking plucked another save out. That little twat. Do my fucking cracking. Well, Enrique. Who was that to? Fuck me. It just skimmed straight past the edge of the 18 yard box. But this from Craig Bellamy. Just does Savage there, strikes good, but Joe Hart is like, it was practically straight as him as it was. Down him. 
Enrique. Great chip ball now through for Henderson on those left hand side. It's down and cut in the middle. Oh, Dirk Cow! Puts it through for Bellamy! Oh, you twat! He's offside. He found the back of the net, but he was offside anyway. That is really desperately unlucky. Yeah, he was definitely offside. It was a good call. Good call. Good interception. Jose Enrique. Whoops that ball down the left towards Craig Bellamy. Savage. He's fucked it up. Savage is just doing ridiculously bad. Doing ridiculously bad at the moment. David Silva. David Silva. David Silva. Nigel De Jong. Oh, it's in. That was a great goal, that was. You can't, they don't deserve it, to be quite honest. They do not deserve it at all, but I saw it coming. You know, Charlie Adam lost the ball there, and it, it's not the first time that he did. It's not the first time that Charlie Adams lost the ball, and that is what's contributed to that goal. You know, David Silva picking that up there, and uh, turns Stephen G, gives it Nigel Giong. He's got bags his face, but that was a brilliant shot. You've got to give him that. It was an absolutely sweet strike. The curl on that bastard. More bend than an energy room. It's 1 0 to City. And I don't know if Liverpool have got the quality to bring this back. I think Rayner was in the wrong place as well, to be honest. Positioned wrong. But what do I know? I'm not a goalkeeper. It's just a shame. You know, they've had one shot that's been a decent shot and it's gone in. Liverpool have had all the chances, really. Just a great shot. Yes, Enrique down the left. Cut out by Zabaleta quite nicely there, Zeko. Zabaleta. Look at this quick football from Man City. It's David Silva. He's got two players on him, but he's still managing to find it. And that is a bad challenge from Charlie Adam. There was no need to make that kind of challenge, Charlie Adam. And he's been disappointing so far. Really, really disappointing. Seven attempts, Liverpool's. Man City only had one on target and scored. We've got five on target. We've not scored them all. It's like football manager all over again. Got to Enrique down his left hand side again. Stuart Down has got to be a bit more alive to anything that's doing because he just looks like lost down this left hand side. He just doesn't want to fucking do it. That's a great ball in. Oh, and that one was a brilliant, brilliant interception there from Westcott because Dirk Count was flying in at that and also. What a ball in that was. But look, that just took it away from Dirk Count and that could have been a goal. Johnny and Westcott, a brilliant, brilliant clearance there just to take it over Dirk Count's foot. It could have gone anywhere, to be quite honest. Brilliant. Ball in. Just falls for Jose Enrique. He's in the 18 yard box. Now it's Martin Skirtle. Ball across to Dirk Cow. What's going on? Charlie Adam. And ball ref! And ball ref! Yes! Fucking yes! That is definitely an hand ball. Should be fucking off for that. Send him off. Fucking send him off. That could have stopped a fucking goal, that. What's going to happen here? No, oh, that was, he's like a fucking goalkeeper. Save that bastard. You can't do shit like that. <laughs> fuck, oh, fuck the bloody thing up now. Another penalty now. Stevie G, an Englishman taking a penalty. It's nerve wracking times now. Stevie G steps up, shoots, scores! Yes! Go on! Go on! 2 1! Fucking yes!
Not even a card for Richard Seaver. Disappointed at that. But Steve G. Joe Hart didn't even move. It was just going to stop in the middle there. He should have picked a side, Joe Hart, but he didn't. He just didn't even bother. He stayed in the middle and then he didn't move. Look, look at that! Look at the arms, man! I don't give a shit if it comes up off his foot. It's his own fault for sticking his arms out. It's half time. Half time. One all. It's not going to go to penalties, so I can breathe a sigh of relief there. Richards handball gives Liverpool the equaliser, but what, do not take the credit away from Man City's goal by Nigel Deej. What a fucking goal it was, I've got to say. They're still moaning about the penalty now. Did, what, what, they're going to rescind it, you know what I mean? Oh, so it's all right, we'll take the penalty away. Stop fucking moaning about it. Get in there and talk about where you're fucking going wrong, because your defence is going down the fucking pan. Stefan Savage, my god, I thought that he was one of these up and coming young guys, but all I've seen from him at the minute is just shakiness and pure shite. But anyway, half time, Liverpool have got a, a toenail in the final, but Man City being Man City won't be finished there, and I'm sure that things will get very, very tense towards the end, just like it was in the last time. Um, I'm happy with that, to be honest. We should have more goals, to be quite honest. It was a black bloody seven shots on target we've had in this first half. One of them's gone in, uh, and it was a penalty, so... Anyway, congratulations to Liverpool. Come on, fellas. Hopefully I'm saying this at full time. It's all in YouTube. It is the second half, and I may miss a couple of highlights, maybe halfway through the second half. Hopefully it's, hopefully it's not a goal or anything like that. So we'll have to swap to my other camera. Because this one won't last for that long. <coughs> Aguero on for the Savage. It's a good call. Mancini's made the right call there, to be honest, I think. Um, but what's, what gets me right is if Man City score another one, they're through on away goals. It really winds me up. It, I get it in European football because it's a lot harder going away on a European match than it is at home. You know, these, play, these people play at each other's bloody clubs twice a frigging season, you know what I mean? Why have away goals in a, in a competition like this? But, never mind. That's real. Have a silver. Good ball across now. Kolarov whips a great ball in. What is he doing? Barry, uh, uh, just fucking skied it. I don't know what, uh, I think it was Agar, I don't know what he was doing, but it seems to just hit him straight in the chest. Rather than do anything, he didn't clear it. No, it wasn't Agar, it was Henderson by the way. Barry just skied it anyway. Steve G steps over this free kick with a view to a shot, it looks like, but I hope he's just going to float that to the back post and maybe test Man City, but you never know with this guy. Steve G now. Got a two man wall. Steve G. Whips it in. Oh. Skirt! Oh, what a save from Joe R. What a fucking save that was. And that is world fucking class. That was an amazing save. Skirtle toe poke, and that was a brilliant save from Joe Hart. Fucking wonderful. Oh, and Dirk Cowell's got billions of space down this right hand side. He's got bags of it. What's he going to do? He chips it over the top. Enrique, oh no, it's down in what I'm on about. Fucking shit bastard. Again, Joe Hart getting in the way of that. It was a brilliant ball across from Dirk Cowell. On that right hand side, just on the 18 yard box, down in unmarked, maybe a bit too far. Wide, wide an angle for, for Downing to do anything, but look at the fucking, that was brilliant save. Just spreading himself, didn't care if he got one in the bollocks, he just fucking went like this. Oh my god. Ten fucking corners Liverpool have had. Steve G whips one in. 
Oh, Joe out missed that. And then Checo. That's not. Collar off down this left hand side. Hits it out, get try and get the shirt back. Don't count. Steve G. Come on, Steve G. Think quicker. Dirk Cow, look at the space that Dirk Cow's got again. Ball into the centre. Fuck me. Charlie Adam just didn't even connect with that at all. He just kept running. I don't know why. Who was injured? Anderson, I think, is down. Card for who? Collar off. I don't see that as a yellow, to be quite honest. I think it's just a meeting of people. I don't see that as a yellow at all. Side is going out for another fucking corner. I don't know, I'm fucking that back page up, something fucking rot me. Let's set this shit off. Loads of space, nobody else there. Fuck's sake, another corner. <laughs> Bellamy just nicking it there. Stuart Downing's got time to run now. At Zabaletti. Gives it to Enrique down this left hand side. Whips the ball in. It's Bellamy, oh, he totally fucked up the shot there. I don't know if he was a bit fucking. You know, twos and ones because Dirk Count was there behind him as well. Got to be alive now because David Silva's got it up the top. Aguero. And again, Daniel Agu getting towards that. David Silva on this right hand side. Oh, he's fucked everyone up there. Zabaleta being pulled back by Charlie Adam. No, it wasn't, it was Enrique. So this is the 64th, <coughs> 64th minute now and David Silva's got a, a free kick in a, in a wonderful place. You've got to stay. So the cross. It's miles over. Just what is he trying there, David Silva? Very, very poor. Very poor. Should have just stuck it in the edge of the box there. Nigel Deej. Careful that they don't lose the Silver down his left hand side. Kolarov. Steve J. Oh, and he's whipped straight across the fucking goal. Why the fuck? Two shots on target for Man City, and both of them have gone in. Daniel Agger. I don't know what he's doing. Stevie G sort of stuck a foot in. Skirtle never even bothered sticking a foot in. And Agger just stepped away totally and just let Zeko have a shot. I mean, why did he stop? Bullshit. Anyway, it's taking it to 2 all now. And uh, come extra time, end of extra time, if it's still 2 all and then Man City go through one away goal, I'm not fucking happy. Bellamy, yes! Go on! Go on! From absolute 
absolutely fuck up and I've totally wrecked my book. Fucking two all. 3 2 and Liverpool are back into this. A great bit of passing play between Johnson and Bellamy in box there between each other. And Bellamy puts it past Joe Hart. It is 2 all. Dirk out there. Just comes across. Gives it to Bellamy. Gives it to Johnson. Gives it back to Bellamy. Bellamy smacks it straight in the back of the net. Joe Hart couldn't really do anything about that. This was brilliant. Brilliant passing play between them two. Why can't they do it against teams like Bolton and West Brom and fucking Stoke and shit teams like that? I mean, apologies if you are one of them fucking supporters, but come on, fellas. Some fucking bits. The fucking bucks and bits. Dirk out. Oh, it's a great ball towards Bellamy! He turns left, Scott, he's turned him again. What's he going to do? He's fast to corner as Bellamy's good work. And Bellamy's been absolutely sensational up front by himself. Andy Carroll, are you watching? Because this is what a good centre forward, when he's up there by himself, this is what a good centre forward does. Charlie Adam now. Pokes it in. Yeah, this fuck all comes of it. Zeko. It's a great ball towards Adam Johnson now. Look at the space he's got. He turns on the inside, shoots. Oh, it's a save from Rayner. Adam Johnson should have done better with that. Really should have done better with it down that left hand uh, right hand side, sorry. What a ball from Zek. The fucking copy in me! I get let me get it out before I f you fucking say shit like that. Good save anyway. What's Johnson doing? Fucking time wasting. You're only adding injury time on. What's the point? I don't get this, and this is going in my highlight. What is the point in going down? And fucking, oh, oh, fuck, oh, 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 shit. He just bummed me ref. You know what I mean? What is the point in wasting normal time? Fuck, it's only going to get added on. I don't get why they do it sometimes. Maybe they think, you know, breaking up play, it'll, it'll set, you know, it'll fuck up Man City's game. I don't give it this bullshit. The space has got though. Towards David Silva. Is that a letter? Zeko, great block. And then it's the clearance. Good stuff. Fuck so. Zeko nearly drawing level there. But the block was was done nicely. That was a good tackle there from Charlie Adam. It could have been fucking bad actually coming in from the side there like that. Well, I've changed my other camera now. We once booked. I was just saying before it ran out. <coughs> Any centre forward out there that's looking at that, Craig Bellamy was absolutely amazing. And that is what you want from a centre forward. But anyway, now it is Jekko fighting against Kelly, who has just come on in place of Bellamy. No, fuck off. Go away. Don't have one last chance. Everybody's going back now for this. Liverpool are in the Carling Cup final. Yes! Fucking eventually. I've got something to fucking be proud about with this club. After last week's 3-1 loss against Bolton, we are through to the Carling Cup final. That toenail at half-time became a full body at full-time. And the look on Dalglish's face, you see, this is what was lacking from Liverpool on a manager perspective. Emotion. Benitez never had emotion. Fucking knobhead who came after him. Fucking bloke, can't remember his fucking name, who was at West Brom. Roy Hodgson, he never had any emotion. Dalglish, every time Liverpool scored, he's off the bench and celebrating. That is what you want from a manager. It's great as players to turn around and see your manager sharing your delight. Craig Bellamy, I think, has been man of the fucking match. Nobody else. Hart's pulled off some brilliant saves, but still, Bellamy, in that centre-forward role, has really, really excelled there. And if I was Dal Gleish, I'd be looking at that and saying, I'm going to put Bellamy in that fucking spot every time, instead of fucking Nobed Carroll. 
because Andy Carroll's like not fucking not. He hasn't got the energy that fucking Bellamy puts out. He hasn't got that same tempo and style of play about him. He has not got no hunger whatsoever to go and get the ball. Craig Bellamy's had all that this game. Oh. It's been emotionally draining as this match. It hasn't been as boring as the last one, obviously. It's always the second leg is always better than the first. And we're into the Carling Cup final. And we definitely deserve that. Definitely deserve it. Especially after that performance. But Dal Gleish congratulating everybody there. Big smile on his face. Real smiles. He loves the club, he runs through it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Against Cardiff for the fucking final.